welcome to this video about uh, STEM content. Today we are going to talk about creativity and yeah. I am Signe Marie Hansen. My name is Jürgen Mo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jürgen, we have a mechanism used in Ertostem. Yeah. And uh, what kind of mechanism are we talking about here? Um, we, uh, first of all, we have explored uh, some materials, cardboard and this split pin. It's difficult to see, but uh, uh, we wanted just to explore what we can do with those uh, those materials and um, see what happens. Uh, at, and first, I just uh, first I started with just try to I guess, uh, try to explore the principle in making some toys like this rabbit um, and then maybe a frog a kind of frog um, but uh, what do they do except for jumping or actually they, do they don't do anything they don't they don't have any function so they are just aesthetic products no yeah. no function so and it was also something about the materials that you know it's not quite solid it's mm, yeah because yeah. this is only paper a little yeah. bit thicker paper yeah yeah so uh, it's quite fragile both of them so i tried to explore further with this principle and then i came with this mm -hmm. this we, this is a well-known principle yeah. Which is the mechanism. Yeah, and this is the main mechanism we have used for this automata. And what is it called? Uh, Cicerion, isn't yeah. it? Yes. Uh, and we know this from maybe a lift or elevator doors and uh, yeah. Yeah, it's used uh, very many places. Yeah. In all day life. So I thought, of, okay, it has a kind of function. It gets wider, wider or longer. Yeah, yeah so. So what can we do with it? So then we came up with this crocodile, snappy crocodile. The snapping crocodile. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's actually have a function. Yeah. This can, it can grab something with its mouth. And, I, and we thought, oh, this, this, this we can play with. Yeah. At the same time, it actually has a function. It has a function which yes. the children can use. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we made, I made this one and I made uh, some more of them. The T-Rex and an elephant. The point is, is not just to think of just one product, but what kind of creatures or animals can, can we make out of these principles? Mm -hmm. And you have already made five of them. Yeah. If you include, include the two first ones. Yeah. And and I think if, and, and then we developed uh, or we made a kind of template, you know, mm, in this for that project. One. Yeah. yeah. That is the snapping crocodile. Yeah. Uh, which has a template and a movie about how you can make it. So yeah. what do we do then when we have a template? What has a template to do with creativity? Well, it's a kind of uh, creative problem solving. They are going to actually going to make this. When you're making this, you are exploring the material. Yeah. But that's true. The same what I did when in my own creative creative process, I was I knew that using cardboard instead of paper, it will get more solid. The function will be better. So. So the children will understand using this, uh, using materials. They will learn something about the materials, of course. Oh, yeah. Maybe you know you can use this, the cardboard has a kind of structure. So when you be, will be aware of what kind of structure there is, you will understand that this way it will easily bend compared with this structure. This is quite strong. So. But it's not like you can't use this. Of course, you can use you can use this with this material to build with it. Yeah. You can make object. This is a square, for instance. 
But when you're going to make, a, for instance, a crocodile, you will use it this way. So the point is, when you uh, when you're making this with a template, you you learn something about the material. You learn you you learn a, you you get skills. Yeah. Uh, but it, yeah. You know, you learn what you need to put it together. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And thereafter, maybe you can start to experiment with the function. Yeah. When you first have made it once. And then, because when you get when you finish with it, another type of creative creativity emerges. Yeah. It's like a, you know. When you start to use it, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Afterwards. It's it's of course you will say this. You can use this to yeah, to object. move an object or something. Yeah. But what we see is that the children are using it to. to they uh, they play with it in another other way. They create some. They create uh, adventures. Mm. Um, Making uh, a history. Yeah. yeah. Narratives. Yeah. So, and so on. And. Which they are very engaged in. Yeah. And then the... So they interact in another other way with the, the object. It's kind of affordances. Yeah. The possibilities that the yeah. automata give the children yeah. to make a history. And, they, they, and that, that's quite interesting to see how they create uh, other meanings with the objects mm. that we made. And thereby also experiences how it functions because yeah. they are using it. Yeah. Yeah. That's very nice. But it's very important when you make this, uh, uh, make this, when you have the template, it's that you open for the, to explore the principle yeah. with the scissor arms. Because that's the, that's the main thing with creativity. You have, mm. you have to allow yourself to explore other opportunities. And we have done this a lot together with students. Yeah. And what happens when the students get this mechanism? Well, some of them uh, thought of maybe, maybe making some you know, flower. Yeah, flower. a growing flower. Yes. Nice. And this is something you maybe you could use in a play or something. Yeah. In the, on the scene, I don't know. Some of the students made a uh, starting to play with the planets. You have the moon and the sun, um, and that was how they are moving together, yeah, back and forth, yeah, yeah, and um, and others uh, uh, tried to explore uh, the, the crocodile. Mm. Making a kind of fantasy crocodile. crocodile. Yeah. In other nice colors, I see. Yeah. <laughs> um, there, there, there are, there are, like children too, when they are in the flow, in the creative process, because they are, you know, exploring uh, all these materials. And I talked about it, how flexible this Crocodile. can be. Yeah. yeah. And we have the students, for example, who Explore the, this flexibility to make a, a. What should we call this? Yeah, it's a kind of uh, <laughs> hand. It is. Yeah, an extra hand. And when it comes to function, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And yeah. what he used was uh, kind of uh, yeah material which we had available he took it further of he course took it further, yeah. this is quite complicated compared to the scissor hand, scissor hand uh, um, principles of course and he used some other materials mm -hmm. straw straws yeah. and uh, elastics yeah and, and some metal uh, here for the fingers yeah but the point is he explored the cardboard yeah in a very good way yeah and then suddenly this had happened. Yeah. And so, uh, what can other things can happen if you are studying or uh, which if you are exploring the material? Do you have any other examples? Uh, this is one of the first actually, mm -hmm. uh, and this is it's, uh, it's like like the frog and the rabbit. It's it's quite nice. Uh, I mean. Pipa, pipa, two birds. But yes. I mean, how long do you think children want to play with it? 
it's because it, it, it doesn't have the same function as this. No, it doesn't, but still it, it, it is a bird, so if you're yeah. playing that you are a bird or playing with these birds, yeah. I would think some children maybe will use it for a while and others won't. Yeah, and, and it's, it has a other, uh, other principle, but I think we, if we had explored this, maybe we could end up with, you know, totally different things. Of course. And I think that is very important when we, we're, we are working both with the children and the students, that to be give that the opportunity to explore, explore and explore, mm. and I think uh, you know we have in 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 the, in the crocodile, the snappy crocodile, we have it's the same size, yeah. you know, okay. except the the heads, you know. Here we have explore how we can use it when we cut them up if we use long yeah. thin cardboards. The rectangles are much longer. Yeah. Maybe and so long that someone won't see the rectangles anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but they still are rectangles. Yeah. And uh, uh, we haven't explored this further, but maybe this could be you, you could put some heads, arms, and you can make a choir out of it or a, you know, flowers. Yeah, growing flowers. Yes. yes. So uh, I don't know. And behind here, we have used some rubber. Just to... And then something else happens. Yeah, and this is another mechanism. Yeah. So it's... I mean, when, when we give them the opportunity, they, they will come with their own ideas and... Mm -hmm. And new things will happen. Yeah. And that is all what creativity is about. Yeah, I think mainly it's uh, try to give them the opportunities to to find their own path or you know to explore. Mm -hmm. But it's it's I think it's often it's a good idea to have a template to first to start with. Sometimes it yeah. helps you. You have a goal and a path you can, but uh, because you you will learn so much when you walk that path. You learn about the material, and it gives you some um, many other. Ideas. Yeah, and uh, you know how to make it, and then yeah. when you know how to make it, you can thereafter take it further. Yeah. And also all the things which happens when the children start yeah. using yeah. using it, and when they make their own stories. Yes. Then yes. suddenly they are in need of something else. Yeah. Because the story demands it. Yeah. That's exciting. So I also think it's very important that. Also, the, the teacher is open, yeah. is open-minded when it comes to 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 apply with uh, other uh, materials or things. I mean, supply. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for listening. Mm. Bye.